Next to me from Sportsnet, it is Rob Falds. You're on TV more than uh, just about anybody else here. Welcome to the set. Thank you for joining us. Oh, it's a pleasure to be here. I'm having a great time. So you've uh, you've covered the MasterCard Memorial Cup since 2007. That's right. And your thoughts on the Windsor uh, host so far? Oh, they've done a fabulous job. I mean, the energy around this city and the excitement about hosting the MasterCard MasterCard Memorial Cup has been fabulous. Everybody's been so helpful. Lots of people have come up and said hi. Thanks for being here. Uh, it's amazing how many times guys will just yell at you. Thanks for coming to Windsor. And <laughs> are awesome. you enjoying Windsor? And we've had uh, limited time to get around, but we have been to a couple of restaurants and just try to uh, soak up. The, the atmosphere and they do a great job trying to, to get everybody involved whether it be the fan zone or in the in-house. Well we're happy to have you here. Let's talk a little bit about yourself. Sportsnet, uh, you're one of the original. You are the original guy from Sportsnet. You're there before they were even Sportsnet. Yeah, right? I'm the dinosaur. Yeah, <laughs> so if you look around my bones are going to be there for you. Uh, I moved from Montreal to join CTV and then CTV started Sportsnet so I was there through the uh, the bid that they made to the CRTC and then finally getting approval and then watching it grow and really develop and turn into what it's turned into has been remarkable when you think that uh, it's been since 1998 and the steps that we've made and where we are now, it's, uh, it's been a fun ride. You're a jack of all trades. You've covered everything. You did the Jays for a while. You've covered hockey for Ottawa and Montreal. You've done Olympics. But so junior hockey is kind of your roots, right? Well, that's where I yeah. really started. Uh, I started in the uh, 1970s, uh, <laughs> the 70s uh, in London. I did play-by-play -play of the London Knights, then moved north to Sudbury. Uh, I grew up in and lived for a while in Kitchener. So I really started to, to get into junior hockey with the Kitchener Rangers. Yep. I'd gone to some Hamilton Red Wings games. I'm originally a Hamilton boy. Kitchener was where it really started to develop. Then when I went to university, started in radio and got a chance to do the London Knights, I just got to love the spirit of the game and the people who were involved in it. And it's really just grown from there. Hosting Blue Jays baseball was a play-by-play -play there. You've done Olympics. What's your favorite? What do you like calling the most? You know, that's people ask that, and I find it very difficult now because, as you said, I do so many different sports. They all have a different vibe and a yeah. different energy to it. Uh, hockey is a constant motion game, like basketball. Baseball, you have to let it unwind and relax. Doing curlings the same way. You have to wait till the shot comes to an end. Uh, football's short bursts. Uh, they all have their their intricacies and they all have something special to it. Yeah. You know, when I was a kid growing up, I wanted to be a football player. I wanted to play for the Hamilton Tiger Cats. So football was first in my heart. Yeah. Uh, but then with the hockey and everything else I've done, I don't know if I could say I have a true favorite anymore. I like them all. Oski Wee Wee, Oski Wawa. There you go. If you're Hamilton, you get Holy that Mac one. Uh, We're Tiger talk Cats, eat them raw. <laughs> We've got uh, two teams 2-0. we got two teams 0-2 here. Have you, this is the first time since the 2000s since we've seen this. This, is, this doesn't happen too often. No, there's always some little wrinkle that happens where you get a one and two team yeah. and uh, this is the first time right, you said since Halifax in 2000 that we've had two teams 2 and 0 two teams 0 and 2 so you already know who's in the semifinal one of these two one of the two 2 and 0 teams is semifinal bound but you have an elimination game like this a must win game in game 5 uh, it adds uh, a whole element of jump to this game uh, and one of these teams is going to go home very unhappy. I, I know your TV hat wants to see good games and some good quality games for us the tournament but who you who you think is winning this thing? Well you know um, I, I have a, a strong sense it's the team from the O. Okay. Uh, from what we've seen from Windsor playing Seattle and then from what Erie did last night to St. John you see the strength of these teams the offensive output of this team they're strong from the from the goal all the way up. Yep. Uh, I'm getting a sense that it could be an Ontario Hockey League team. Now, I know if I said Spitfires, I'd be the most there popular go, guy yes. in the community. It is. Uh, it looks like there's just they're going to be ready right to go head-to-head. -head. It could be the Spitfires and the Otters.